Hello, I am Colin Lay. I am Shreya Lay. We're the owners of Lay Roots, which is an asset protection and estate planning law firm. Today, Shreya. Yes, Colin. Let's talk about ultimate secrecy. Whoa. And why you can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you. So we spoke with somebody who was interested in setting up an asset protection trust, having this asset protection plan in which nobody involved knew who was behind the trust, who's the beneficiary, who was setting up the trust, what assets were in the trust. They wanted people to ask no questions and mm. kind of glance away from what was happening. And this is before my time, your time, our time in this industry. There was a time when you could do that. I think when people just kind of looked the other way, they didn't care who was behind the curtain mm, okay. of different entities, I see. but things have changed. And I think the start of that was 9-11. Mm, that makes sense. And the, the government passed a lot of laws that basically required people... To know their customer. Yes. Those, those KYC... Mm -hmm. Regulations were put in place, and that led that made people it made people accountable for knowing who they were setting up these uh, entities for. Mm -hmm. They had to know basically that they weren't helping terrorists, that they weren't helping right. launder money, commit crimes. So they had an obligation to figure out who the people are behind all of the entities, and that continues today. And there's been other legislation as well that just mm -hmm. uh, make sure that people are sharing this information. Interesting enough, the United States was demanding this information from countries all around the world, yet they don't really require as much for, for themselves. So the U.S. is still considered a black hole of sorts for information, but anyway, getting off point. But even if it is, still some people need to know who is behind the curtain. Like yeah. a bank is not going to allow you to open a bank account right. if you, if they don't know, right. have some like identifying information. Yeah. And I think when we've had calls from people, sometimes they don't even want their local bank knowing oh, yeah. who they are or, you know, whatever bank they're using. They don't even want them to know who they are. They just, they want to be completely anonymous and off the grid. Yeah. And when you have a independent trustee signing mm -hmm. on to help with your trust, they're going to need to know yeah. who's involved as well. Someone's going to need to know. Yeah. Everyone doesn't need to know, but yeah. someone needs to know. Yeah. And this this doesn't mean that your information needs to be plastered up on the internet somewhere right? for people to look up, but it, it means that the people who are involved... Uh, the bank accounts that are involved, people are going to need to know right. who they're dealing with. Because they're also going to be, the finger's going to be pointed at them at some point if something goes wrong. Yeah. And they'll be like, who is this person? Why, who are you acting for? Why are you doing these things? Yeah. So if the ultimate secrecy is what you're after, if you're looking to set up completely anonymous entities that nobody knows about not gonna happen anymore not in the u.s yeah not anywhere where the entity would be useful right no stable so, government yeah so if there were places that did offer that you know good luck opening a bank account in a more mm -hmm. normal place mm -hmm. Um, you know, those are the countries that end up on the blacklist of of countries. And they don't like to be on there. So Yeah. Anyway, so you're gonna have to open your doors a little bit to the people helping with your entities and your assets. Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Shreya. See you next time.